Hello again and welcome to Inside Cowboy Basketball with Cowboy Head Coach Alan Edwards. It's all driven by Nissan. Great to have you along. Another week for the Cowboys in the books. One on the road, one at home. And uh, let's see, this is a work in progress yeah. now, Coach. And I know a lot of learning going on with these young Cowboys. Uh, I think one thing we're going to, uh, you know, that still amazes me yeah. is the play of Justin James. Uh, he has just proven to be such a great leader. And boy, has he been a big positive for these, these young players. Let's start a little bit with the UNLV game. I thought we saw a lot of that in that game. Well, you know, again, one thing we continue to hit with uh, uh, JJ is about, you know, leaving behind the right legacy. Um, and, and I think he's approached it the right way. Uh, when you watch him and see, you know, obviously he's our leading scorer, leaders in rebounders, leaders, leaders in assists, and actually has done a really good job on the defensive end of the floor. But the thing that probably goes unnoticed is how much he's leading in the locker room, uh, how much he's leading on the court, uh, how he's trying to uh, re-emphasize or reinforce the message that the coaching staff are giving to these new and young guys as they're going through uh, the battle, which, again, I don't know if they signed up for for day one uh, with having to you know, be put out there for you know, sometimes 30-plus minutes as a, a first-year guy or incoming freshman. Yeah, we know that uh, J.J. leads the team in scoring and rebounding and assists and steals all that. Yeah. But uh, he's a tough dude, too, mm -hmm. Coach. We've seen him literally pick himself yeah. up off the floor and stay in the game. Uh, we've well, seen that a lot. Again, again, it goes back to him understanding, even with him being a senior, leaving the right legacy. Because even when you watch him, you know, whether it was a dislocated shoulder or a tweak of an ankle here or just being – fatigue from the banging or being hit to where he's falling on the floor, the unique thing about it is you still try to keep him off of the practice floor, but he still wants to get out there and show these young guys and new guys that, no, this is how you go about becoming a better college basketball player or even in the sense of having aspirations of playing uh, on the professional level. Yeah. Well, the Cowboys had a game right here in the arena auditorium against UNLV, and then you have to take that trip down to Fort yeah, Collins, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, that was a, a tough outing. But again, yeah. you talk about a learning experience, what yeah. life is like on the road in your rival's place. I yeah. guess you learn that much. Well, you know, one of the things I you know, told our guys, and even watching the game, it, it, was, it was just reversed. You know, the way we started off here, um, you know, our role guys uh, made uh, shots here and would defend it. And their role guys did not do that here at our place. And then we went down to their place, and then it kind of flip-flopped, you know. Um, their uh, young guys uh, made made shots, and our young guys didn't. So it ended up becoming almost like, you know, it started out the same way, you know, with the big lead or what that not. But uh, still was impressed even watching the tape to where it was still learning moments within the game that you just have to continue to reinforce. And at some point, understanding that these younger, newer guys are going to get it. Yeah. Well, another big week for the Cowboys coming up. One at home, one on the road. We'll come back and talk about those upcoming games right here in Unside Cowboy Basketball with head coach Alan Edwards, driven by Nissan. Back after this. It's times like these when you've got to stay centered. The 2018 Nissan Rogue with available Pro Pilot Assist that can help keep you centered in your lane. Experience it only at your local Nissan store. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. If keeping your work site on time, on budget, and onto the next job is keeping you up at night, you need to wake up to Komatsu. Our machines are designed for production, uptime, and savings. We are more than just iron. We are giving you a technology to make more material and less passes. Start sooner, finish faster, and burn less fuel. We are solving problems before you had them. So stop doing what you've always done. The only thing that's going to keep you up at night is wondering why you didn't do it sooner. Discover the job site of your future. Komatsu. Earn your University of Wyoming degree at a distance. UW offers undergraduate and graduate degrees through distance technology. Learn more at uwyo.edu forward slash distance. 
Well, these two Cowboys have played a lot for the Wyoming Cowboys this season. Little did they know that they would be playing so much. These two transfers, Jake Hendricks and A.J. Banks, have had a lot to do with the progress of the Cowboys this season. James with it gets pushed by Scotty, no call. Another three by Hendricks. It's good again. Somebody guard that guy. Hendricks can shoot the basketball. Told you. Is he a stone cold shooter or what? Out of high school, I was looking at a few schools, and then I just decided not to go to college of Southern Idaho. And then I actually could have left there after my first year. I went on a few visits to a few other schools, and I just didn't feel comfortable with them. We had a really good year, made it to the national championship game, uh, and then. That's actually where I met Coach Edwards and Coach Kimbrough in the national tournament, and from there, it's pretty easy to decide to come here. Uh, I didn't think I'd have this big of a role, but I was—I always hoped to have a big role uh, when I was deciding where to go. So it's—I'm glad I have this big of a role, but I never really expect to have this big of one. Here comes JJ on transition. Nice little euro step, gets it to float, and Banks with a big putback slam. Banks around the defender, Ivy, slams it down! The 6'2 junior! Uh, coming out of Pratt, I wanted to go somewhere where I could make an impact right away. This year kind of has been a big opportunity for me because I've been able to be such a big part of what we do. And, uh, it's really been something that I appreciate because not many people get to make that transition and go from being an important player on one team to another one right away. Here's Justin James to the corner. Banks for three. Gets it. Whether it's schoolwork, uh, everything like that, showing up on time, and just stuff like that. I try to lead by example. Coach thinks I'm a veteran, so I try to act like a veteran and be, a, be an example for the younger guys. I think initially with my, my personality and who I am is more of a lead by example. But being a guard and being a point guard, it, it kind of has to become more of a vocal thing. So, I mean, being that we have so many freshmen in, they're new to the whole college basketball thing and they don't really know how things go. So I think me being, even though I'm new to the program, I have an edge over some of the younger guys because I've been through some of the same things before. I love it here. I love the community and school has been great and I'm getting my education. So I think that's really good. And going to where I want to go, hopefully. Came in, I didn't expect uh, my role to be this big, but it's allowed me to kind of step into my own and create something for the team that is needed and when the opportunity came about I was I was pretty excited to become something we needed for the team. Well where would the Cowboys be coach without AJ Banks and Jake Hendricks and boy it was sure nice getting Jake back sure yeah. missed him those nine games but mm -hmm. he has had an impact on this team in fact both of these guys big role this year's yeah. team. Yeah, well, you know, again, you know, just going through the recruiting process and having a chance to see both of these uh, young men play at the junior college level and was looking for an opportunity to bring in somewhat uh, uh, experience uh, coming from that level. And they're both for two obviously different basketball players. You know, Jake is a guy that uh, truly, truly understands the game of basketball, but he's a guy that could uh, really stretch the defense with how well he shoots it. And when you're seeing him out there, teams really respect that ability of his. And he's a guy that can run all day, so he's in great shape. And I think a kid like AJ, is uh, just talented, gifted uh, in some areas that you really can't coach. Uh, and yet he's still growing uh, as a basketball player and understanding how he can uh, even affect the game, uh, not only with his speed, but also with his athleticism and at the same time being a, uh, a pest on the defensive end of the floor. So, you know, we're fortunate enough to, uh, to find these two uh, young men from the junior college level, and they've been really good pieces for this program. Oh, yeah, I love to watch Jake play and the shoot it. And, of yeah. course, we are getting used to seeing the James to A.J. Banks lob dunk. You know, we're seeing that at least once a game lately. Uh, always great to see. Now, this week, another big week as the Cowboys uh, won on the road, won at home. They'll start with a game Wednesday. Wednesday night in Fresno against, I think, one of the better teams in this league, the Fresno State Bulldogs. Yeah. Well, again, I, I mean, when you look at the top half of our league right now, obviously they're sitting in third place. Um, but I, in my opinion, I think they're the second best team in this uh, league um, because uh, they just have so many 
uh, weapons uh, in a sense of the perimeter play uh, and even the kid Bittner uh, being a 4-3 type guy and then Grimes being a really mobile athletic big that can run, uh, protect the rim um, uh, and just uh, affect the game in so many ways. So when I look at the complete part of it and actually just watching the Nevada game last night on TV, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be a, it's going to be a good game. This will be another good test for our group on the road, which we played these guys well at our place. But just getting them on the road to be a, a, a good test for our guys also. Well, talking about another key rematch, then Air Force right here yes. in the Arena Auditorium Saturday, 4 yes. p.m. the tap time, mm -hmm. right here in the arena. Uh, there's a rematch. I know the Cowboys must be looking forward to that one too. Yeah, and they're having a good year as well. Uh, when you look at the makeup of their basketball team, and Coach P's done a great job. You know, you're dealing with a lot of juniors uh, uh, that, that has been in that system for a while. Uh, and, the first, and that was, uh, I want to say, Jake's first game back off of injury. Um, but they're, they're playing well also. So to get them back on our home floor will also be a, a good thing. And obviously get them back in this environment with our fan base, uh, you know, coming out to support these young men. I think that would be a great Great, great game for our, for not only our guys, but for our fans. Yeah, a couple of big games again this week for the Pokes. Come back uh, next time around, and we'll talk about them right here on Inside Cowboy Basketball with Cowboy head coach Alan Edwards, driven by Nissan. We'll see you next time. For the head coach, I'm Dave Walsh. So long, everybody.